In this episode, we talk about depth maps, how we can use them in our projects, and a magical way to create them with AI for free. Hey, if you're new here, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more tips, tricks, and videos. So what is a depth map? A depth map is a black and white image that translates the distance of every point in a scene from the viewpoint of the camera. What that basically means is that it's an image where the lighter the pixel, the closer the object is to the camera. And the darker the pixel, the farther it is. So what's the big deal about them? Well, you can use depth maps and After Effects to do some cool... <laughs> like controlling depth of field in images. Let's see how that works. In this comp, I have an image, and here's the depth map for it. I'll switch it off for now, so we'll only see our image. We'll add a camera lens blur effect to our image, and under blur map, we'll choose our depth map layer. Now we can use the blur focal distance to adjust the depth of field in our image. This adds great dynamic to your scene, especially if you're working with still images. Like in a documentary. But it's not just the depth of field. You can use it as a displacement map and create cool effects or transitions with it. Simply apply the displacement map effect to your image, then choose the depth map as your displacement layer. Then change the use for horizontal and vertical displacement to luminance. Now when you change the horizontal displacement, you have yourself a 3D image. Just make sure not to go too overboard with the displacement amount as it will break your image. Unless that's an effect you're going for and that's just fine. Depth maps used to be quite difficult. You had to create them yourself in Photoshop or have them exported if you were dealing with 3D projects. But now you can use AI to generate them. Let's give it a shot. Simply visit the link in the description and upload your image to the Marigold depth estimation model. Then under advanced options, you can increase both ensemble size and denoising steps to 20 for more detail. It really depends on your image. I'm gonna leave it at 10 for now. Then click compute depth and let it do its magic. Once completed, you'll see a preview of your map and you can download it straight away. What's even cooler is that you can do this with videos too. Here we have a lovely video and we're gonna export it as an image sequence. Once you add the comp to the render queue, go to the output module and select PNG sequence as the format. Next we'll change the depth to trillions of colors and we're set. Just hit render. Boom. Now we'll need to generate a depth map for each frame by uploading it and computing the depth map. This gives us a depth map sequence for our video and we can import it into our comp. To help with the flickering, you can add a Gaussian blur and set it to 10. Now we just need to add a camera lens blur effect to our main layer and choose the depth map we just created. Now I'm going to increase the blur a bit, so we can see it a bit better. Now by changing the focal distance, we can control the depth of field in our video. And even keyframe it for more impact. Now I wouldn't use this all the time, as it can be difficult to generate, but it can be really useful when you need it and have no other choice. Drop a comment below and let me know what your experience has been like with depth maps and what else have you used them for. Don't forget to smash the like button, share and subscribe for more videos. Catch you in the next one.